Hello, my name is Tom Pappas with Oshiba Security. Today I'm going to go briefly the EHV embedded surveillance recorder and we're going to be accessing the recorder via Internet Explorer. So once we've added in the IP address into our address bar and bring up the recorder, this is the first thing that you'll see here, this screen that you're looking at right now. To connect to the recorder, we're going to have to populate it with the username and password. In this case, for the demo, we're just going to add username, which is admin, and connect to the recorder by pressing connect here. Once I press connect, we've established connection with the recorder. As you can see, it brings up all 16 channels of the recorder. Channel position number one, we have an analog camera. And on position number 15 and 16, we have a couple of IP cameras, Toshiba IP cameras. On these recorders, the embedded EHV recorders, the IP cameras will reside on the last four channels of any EHV embedded recorder. Another thing to take a note here is that we are continuously recording, so we have this red little indicator here that the camera or this particular camera is being recorded. Over to the left side here, you'll see we have a system status. It provide us with the, the server or the recorder IP address. Also, admin is logged in as admin for the user. If I select, let's say, channel 15 here, you'll also notice that this camera changes to channel 15. A couple of things that we can do with the browser interface here is we can we have a full screenshot we can do. We have some other divisions, quad views that we can also select up here. And just select those by clicking on them. Also, we have some cameras that we can just select here to turn on and off. As you see when I toggle that, camera 16 will turn on and off as an example. We also have some control options here and also some alarm options. The other thing we can do with Internet Explorer is we can do a search feature. If we have a PTZ connected to the recorder, we can control the PTZ camera from here. Then we can also export images or print images. We'll go ahead and do a search. We have a status as a feature here. We can clean the image, print, and save, and obviously exit the search. So I'm going to go ahead and select our status search. Here you'll note we have an AM and PM. And this is shaded in this color here, this orange color. That means that there has been some recording that's been done on the recorder from the camera. I'm going to scroll down here again. Channel 15 and 16 have been set up for continuous recording. And I'm going to go here to PM and select, say mm -hmm. here. And you can see in the background behind here, that particular time, if I select another camera, you can see the recordings there. So this is another quick way to view um, or search for any video that's been recorded or an event that may have happened that's on the recorder now. Simply I'm going to close this here. From this point, I have this video here. So I have some options here. If I also have a, an hour meter that I can use the slider to look at different times of the day with along associated with this is the minutes you can adjust that what camera we're looking at if I want to look at two cameras I can get this quad view let's say bring up another camera and from here I can just press play when I press play you'll be able to play back you can also speed up the play if need be you can stop it or rewind we can also brighten up that particular camera if need be. We also can zoom in or out on that camera. The other thing here, we have this little calendar down here, the year, month, and date. Anything that's been circled in red here signifies that there's been a recording on that particular day. Anything that hasn't, obviously, there's no recording there. Simply close that, just click on it again. So, from here, we, if we want to print, we can print or we can save this image. I'm going to go ahead and 
do a save. Got a couple options here to back up the video that we've just viewed, let's say. We can do an AVI file or we can do a, a JPEG image. Gives us a few options here for digital signature. And then in the case of an AVI, we have the option here of some default, how many, how many seconds we can back up. Or you can populate your own number in here if need be. We'll go ahead and cancel out of here. So that's pretty fast and quick as far as being able to look at some recordings that are events that have been recorded on the EHV. Let's go back to our main screen to simply exit search. Now this brings us back to our home page here. Again, if we want to view anything live, want to bring up a particular camera, simply double click on that. It'll bring up that camera. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. If you have any questions, please visit us at ToshibaSecurity.com. We have our full our product line there and many programs that are available to everybody, our dealers and, and whatnot. Thank you again. Bye now.